Oh, I'm scared. I'm not about to hold you. Flashlight? Oh, heck no. Oh, heck no. I ain't ready for this, Slim. Oh, heck no. Bro, and it's like quiet as hell. Oh! And it's like quiet as hell now. Bro, I literally got chills. Like, I, I just got hella cold out of nowhere. Zero G cave? Oh, I do have freaking gravity. I mean, no gravity. Suit up? I'm putting a suit on! And I got a... Is this what, a rocket? Oh, a jetpack. Oh, there's literally people in here. Okay. Not so scared anymore. Dee -hoo -hoo. Can I talk to him? Let's see who's this. Talk to Tough? Hey, hey. Nice of you. Drop down. Getting some zero-G time in. So you're going in there? In the cave? Hmm. What? No, I'm fine. Great. Great and fine. You don't look fine. Well, you know what? Oh, well, you know I hate that cave, so I don't know why you're making me talk about it. Phew. Now I've got the hand sweats. Horizontal thrust? Oh, damn. Alright, this is kind of spook spook. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Well, no, 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 no. Let's all slow down. Yeah, let's let's see what's up with this. What's this? I hope I don't run out of fuel, bro. Alright, let's try it. Let's try, like... So when I'm in the air, I control myself with the, bro, these controls, bro. I already know I'm about to be so shitty at this. Like, for, ah, damn! I'm gonna smack my dome. Alright, I wonder if you take fall damage. Oh, is that the satellite? What the hell is that? Bro, it's hella dark down there. Nah, I ain't fucking with that. Uh, is that the only way? Bro, alright. Geronimo, oh, hell nah, bro. No, 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 no. It's extra It's extra dark. I gotta match the velocity of the joint. Alright, this is, I don't know what's going on right now. But I think I'm doing it, guys. I think I'm doing it. Almost there. So close. Hold X to repair. Ooh. Yeah! I did it. Okay, now where's the other one? Okay, if I just move slow, I think I'll be alright. Bro, this is actually very spooky. I ain't, I ain't fucking around with this, bro. Alright. Oh my god, no! No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. No, we good. We, <laughs> we good. We good, Slim. I guess I'm just using my mind to repair it and I put tape on it. Cool. All right, let's keep going. I feel like the last one's like down here or something. Bro, what's going on? Bro, where is it at? Two out of three repaired. Ow. Bro, I really hope I don't got to go to like... Bro, this is so freaking spook spook. Is it, like, down here? Do I have to go in the freaking satellite, bro? Oh, I do. <gasps> Alright, bet. Let's get it. Ah, I got an itchy. Training simulation complete. Oh, heck no, bro. Oh, heck no. This is spooks. This is spooks. I ain't ready for this one. Oh my god, slow down! Slow down! Wait, where am I at? I don't know, we're just gonna go up, right? We're gonna slow our asses down. Oh, it's tough around? Okay, so I'm just back where I was. Okay, bet. And now gravity's returning to normal. Ish. Whew! And that was just the tutorial, man. I am stressed. I am striggity stressed. Golly. I almost got the hand sweats. That's a lot of names to remember. I only remember, like, Tough Slate and that guy. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space, but just remember you're training and not try to hit anything big. And try not to hit anything big. 
I can seriously get off this rock, so get at the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there, and hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that you put so much time into training. You got it? I mean, I put about, you know, 20 minutes. Do I still have my suit on? Nope. What's over here? Hmm. Let's see if I can tightrope this. Wait, what was the point of me being up here? What the fuck was that? I know y'all just seen that. I know I ain't tripping. Who it is? Moraine? Huh. Oh, hello, astronaut. This is good weather for your lunch, right? That's lucky. I'm using my signal scope to pick up sounds from distant planets. It's set to the Outer Wild Ventures frequency so I can pick up the Traveler's music. Last night I heard Rybeck's banjo coming from Brutal Hollow. Hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets too. It depends on what time of day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. Ooh, that's crank. Damn, hold on. Whoa, whoa, damn. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, and the planet look red, uh. Uh, about to spit some bars today, uh, uh, psych, nah, I'm just playing, huh, you thought, I wanted to stay tuned for the bars, though, they coming, they coming, was that the only planet, though, I feel like there's another jump, oh, bat, what's this one, oh, this is some, like, pirate-ass music, some pirate ship-ass, like, was that a harmonica, they really cranking that harmonica, and first off, second off, actually, that planet looks scary as hell, bunch of trees and shit it's a tree it's just a big fat tree planet can I what is that big green jump that music don't sound too fun it sounds scary where's the oh is this is like a telescope what is the scout launcher Ooh. matter of fact I probably want to read what it do before I do it north young back crater Th did not did not tell me a damn thing. Geyser Mountains, okay. Qua okay. Okay, so I guess I just gotta use it. Cause it's not and I can aim this somewhere. Oh, it goes in orbit. That is actually tough. Bro. Oh, is that green thing me? I mean, you can't see me anymore. <laughs> you can't see me anymore. Wow, that's actually fire. Okay, that's pretty cool. I guess so you can, like, scout out planets and see if you're gonna blow up or not. I don't know, bro. I don't know. There's a spread button? Nope. LB's the move slow, though. Ah, I can't open up any doors. Can I swim? Is this even real water? Okay, it's foot deep. Oh! I ain't even look at my arms! Bro, I am one of them. I'm a Hearthian. Yeah, with my little uh, patchy uh, fit. All right. Outer Wilds, Avengers, founding members. Clockwise from top to left. Hornsfels, Ghost, and Slate, and Feldspar. Oh, yeah. Feldspar is the one that, like, was the super, like, the first one to do it. First day out. Outer Wilds, Avengers, Timberhurts. First and only space program was found to explore the farthest reaches of the solar system. Feldspar was the first Hearthian to be intentionally launched into space. They completely... They completed the first orbit around Timberhurts and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon. The Addle Rock. Dang, bro. Is this Feldspar's face? No, I don't think that is. Talk to hell. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Lunch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the translator's tool in our little fight, too. I'm so excited, it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any Naomi text you want, anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours on the event that tool, so don't break it, okay? Ha ha, oh jeez, do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous, and I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I'm terrified. Ah, uh, don't let me make you nervous. You've been training for this day since we were hazards, remember? 
You're the great, I promise. So what's the dirt? You ever seen a new Naomi statue? Of course. Heh, I knew you'd want to see it before you headed off. Warfield's just finished prepping it for display today. Amazing, isn't it? Makes me wish we can get a real live Naomi looks like. Oh, we could see what a real live Naomi looks like. Drugs. But I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Look like they had a fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue I've ever found, you know? <coughs> and for how old it is, it's in great shape. <coughs> ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. I got a little carried away out there. Go on. You have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, year. <coughs> oh, shoot. So this is, um... By the Nomai. Did I say Naomi? Drugs. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system for thousands, thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look, yet the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur, note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts have structured, and structures have been found on almost every planet in this solar system, we still have no idea where the species came from, or what happened to them. Alright. So, um, this piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Although this text is linear, Nomai text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, or interestingly each branch tends to be written by a different author. What the hell is this? We're nearly ready. Fi Felix and I have finished construction and says the calibrating the device won't take long. Whoa, bro. Fortunately, the Adelarc's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Oh, so it's like that. That's kind of fire. That's kind of fire. Aside from dwelling structures, the built that Nomai also made art. This decorative pottery was discovered on Biddle Hollow. Alright. This is all Nomai stuff. Is that their skulls? What does it say? What you see are parts of Nomai skeleton? Yep. We can tell from the skulls that they possess antlers and quite unusually only three eyes. Illuminati confirmed. The Nomai body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The difference is the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, shows that Herthians couldn't have descended from Nomain, Nomain ancestors. <laughs> it's not clear where the Nomai originated from, or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. The Nomai technology, brought back from space by our astronauts, has been a great boon to Outer Wild Ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the Little Scout now boasts a rap retrieval cap capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. For some reason that works, and it is weird how that works, because I just did it. What is this? Ooh, crystals. This crystal was taken from the Nomai rune on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse deep surfaces. Try it out. Huh? Whoa, whoa, what the f- Whoa. Okay, that was trippy as hell. Can I go back down now? No, I can't. Can I go over here? Okay, okay, okay. That was actually scary. So I could like freaking wall run like I'm Oh god. That's gonna be spook. Oh what the hell is this? Oh, this is a jump for finding Nemo! This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to the dark bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, that's a... Uh... that's a uh... Yikes, that's, that's a, uh, wow, that's a strong bite you got there, buddy. You call that an under overbite? You got so many damn teeth. Alright, what is it, planets? If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Schertz's observation, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Yikes. As the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The stars become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. So I was supposed to read that left to right like a dumbass. Alright. 
Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. So it goes from here, gets big as hell, and blows the fuck up. Alright, well. Watch closely, these balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes this, this spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the outer rock's gravity pulls on the objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. Alright, so if I stand here, am I going to move? No, that's what I thought. Alright, let's keep it pushing. Hmm. This is very, very interesting. Oh, I guess this is like the Grand Master or some shit. I was about to say, are those beard ears? But, you know, let me just... Hornfells! Oh! There you are. I just finished pre flight observations. And local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with the Know My Translator tool. I confess. I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? I'm going to learn more about the Nomai. I'll meet up with other travelers. I want to go somewhere no one's gone. I think I'll, st I'll start with something small. <clears throat> I think I'm just going to wing it. That's what I do in life. Playing to follow in the footsteps of Feldspar in our Great Hour Wilds Ventures tradition, are you? I might have guessed. So y'all wing everything, and y'all just ended up with this? This is incredible. They wing everything. Well, see. Well. Well, see. Let me redo that sentence. Well. See if you can put that translator tool of yours to good use while you're out there. Well then, looks like that's all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to die in space. That's a dialogue option? Excellent. You'll be needing the launch codes, then. Here they are. Best get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to your ship, eh? Good luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Bro. The launch codes are do do dash do dot dot douche dash dot. I did not need to. What the fuck? Oh no. Oh, I'm scared, you cat. How far out? How far out can I zoom? Oh, I'm only in the solar system for this game. Is that what's going on? Okay. So I'm here. Basically on Earth. Okay, and the Adel Rock is our moon. Then there's the Hourless Twins and the Ember Twin Ash Twin. Okay, what the fuck is this? What it, bro? That's not gonna burn up. What is this? Oh, that's very bright. The Brittle Hollow. Damn, that's far as hell. Damn, and then the Giant's Deep. That was that big-ass planet I saw. That super big-ass planet. Oh, what the hell is that? We don't even know? I bet you that's gonna be some, some shit we gotta go to. And because it's out of the orbit of the sun, it's gonna be some hard shit. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, Mr. Krabs. I'm feeling it. So there's only one, two, three, four, five. And our normal shit. Oh, this is the tree joint. The Dark Bramble. It's scary. Yeah, so, um, I know our normal solar system has, like, nine planets, but now Pluto's kind of out of it, so do we only have, like, eight planets? I don't know how that works, but, um, yeah, I'm not an astrologist. I don't do, uh, any, you know, don't do aeronautical science, you know, that space shit, so, yeah, yeah, that is, uh, pretty spook spooks. So, do I just head back to my ship and send it? I think I do. <laughs> Bro, that is, was actually creep. What the? Where did I walk? What the hell is this? 
The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realize that there must be some sort of optical illusion at play. But Gabro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed, whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extreme, extremely creepy. Okay, so if I stop looking at it... If I stop looking at it, will it change? <gasps> what the fuck? No. No. So if I go back, is it gonna change? <gasps> No. Can I touch it? Let's touch it. Like Nemo touched the butt of the ship. Bro, it's a real thing. And it doesn't hurt me. But if I turn around, will it change? <gasps> hey, bro, I'm getting the fuck off this joint. Hell nah. I ain't fucking with none of this. What is it, this way? Yeah, we gone, shawty. Oh, dang, shawty. Oh, no! No, no, no! No! What are you doing? Bro, it's replaying everything I just did? <laughs>